stories for everyone. That's KSHB 41. KSHB 41 News starts now. An update. Lawrence police say two people died in a shooting in a grocery store parking lot, but they don't believe there's a threat to the public. Also in Lawrence, as police investigate possible domestic violence in the death of a former Kansas Jayhawk soccer player, the resources available to people impacted by domestic violence. Good morning, I'm Ray Daniel. Welcome to KSHB 41 News Today. Thanks for watching, whether that's on your TV or your favorite streaming device. Let's get right over to meteorologist Lindsay Anderson. Lindsay, you had some activity earlier. Is it, It's still pretty rainy. Yes, okay. it is. So so things are actually tapering off now, Ray, okay. which is a great sign as we get closer to our morning rush hour in a couple of hours. We are f still finding some raindrops out there. You can see it on our camera lens, looking from the power and light apartments on our board and our Skyview network. You can actually see some low clouds racing across across this early morning sky as our storm systems rotating through right now. Some of the heavier storms over mid Missouri and southwestern Missouri. So between Columbia, Jefferson City, back through Springfield and Joplin. For us, we're finding that rain that's already ending tapering off here in the 435 loop. Our coverage has dwindled a whole lot. It looks like it's a little bit more steady out towards Belton, Lee Summit and Blue Springs. So through Jackson County, Missouri, although on the Kansas side, things have quieted down a whole lot. There were some storms that are rushing through areas between Maryville and Bethany, Missouri, but this is dwindling as well in coverage. Uh, Chillicothe, Carrollton down through Marshall, still finding a lot of lightning strikes and rumbles of thunder out there, but that should end here in the next hour or so. So this brings us to some drier conditions the rest of the day today and even sunshine for the second half of the afternoon. Highs are still warm up to the 80s. We'll talk about even warmer air that arrives tomorrow all next Ray. Lindsay, thank you. We are keeping an eye on power outages this morning due to the storms. Last night, a few hours ago, Evergy reported about 200 outages impacting 4,000 customers. That has dropped a bit to about 170 outages and 2,300 customers. You're watching KSHB 41 News. Good morning, I'm Lindsay Shively. And I'm Taylor Hinn. This time now 726 on your Wednesday morning. Lawrence PD investigating a couple of deaths from last night. A shooting till, till two men in a high V parking lot. Uh, one of the victims died at the scene. The other died at the hospital later. Right now, police are figuring out how four people at the scene could have been involved. The Kansas Supreme Court will meet this morning to continue hearing arguments on how congressional districts should be drawn. This will determine the voting boundaries for the four U.S. House seats in Kansas. We don't know when they'll make a final decision, but the court is on a quicker timeline because of the upcoming election. They do plan to meet again next Monday. After such a stormy night last night, that rain has finally ended. So your morning commute today looks a little better. We still have to watch for some ponding out there on the wa of water on the roadways. Temperatures are starting off in the 60s, but we'll reach the 80s this afternoon. I do expect more sunshine for the second half of the day today and the breezes will stay light. So low 80s expected all across Kansas and Missouri and those temperatures get much warmer tomorrow. In fact, I expect a high of 88 degrees with sunshine Friday. A little cooler down to 77 and then a big drop comes Saturday. We're only in the 50s for highs, 40s for lows with a chance of rain mainly in the morning and early afternoon. Our temperatures recover into next week. All right, Lens, thank you. Our news continues on 38 The Spot. Yep, we'll get a preview of a Frank Lloyd Wright home that people get to tour as part of a fundraiser this weekend. Another update coming up on KSHB 41 at 756. Today's show on KSHB 41 is sponsored by Advent Health.